Ladies and gentlemen, this is fresh fried and crispy. Fresh fried crispy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fresh fried crispy. Fresh fried crispy. Fresh fried crispy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fresh fried crispy. I'm in love. That ah, beefy bite, that meaty bite, that bite of delight. Oh, chicken has to be moist by choice. Look at things just tripping while the syrup is working. Tripping up off that sunrise right there. Ooh, ooh. The juiciness on that chicken, that was a thick chicken. Boom. Sitting on top of that cheese. Oh, fresh fried crispy. This is kind of gives us a little bounce fresh, moment. Fried crispy. A little bit of that fresh fried crispy. Oh, yeah. Fresh fried crispy. Getting all the sweetness of the cream. Getting that dark sauce. Fresh fried crispy. That's a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be a little bit longer, guys, because uh, take this mask off, Dan. What are you doing? Sorry, y'all. I had a mask on. I'm in this hot outfit. Let me unbutton the top button. I'm out here in Cali right now. I had another project to work on. No, it's not season two for my Netflix show, Fresh Friday and Crispy. We're going to discuss that and updates at the very end of this video. I haven't given you guys a full review in almost a week and a half and or longer. My apologies. But y'all knew when my Netflix Fresh Fried and Crispy show dropped, I had a lot of promotion to do, interviews to do. I'm trying to get back on schedule. I'll be back home. We'll get back to full reviews. Sit back, relax, and comfortable with your main man, Dane Draws. Let's see if I still remember how to do a food review. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your main man, Dane Draws, back in with another Super Off The Show. Food review, kid, nigga, baby. I know you can't hate. Listen, man. Let's get right into the food review. Because y'all been missing out. I went to Fat Burger, y'all. When I got the fat, y'all know how much I love Fat Burger. Let's keep that a bean. But when I got there, I had options, y'all. I never tried a Fat Burger turkey burger before. So I ordered that. But then I was looking. I was looking all in the window. I seen a Fat Burger grilled Pineapple burger? A grilled pineapple? I know you ain't trying to tell me there's a grilled pineapple burger in one of these burgers. I know one of these can't possibly be. Oh, this is thick. Look at, look at Fat Burger. Look at Fat Burger. Fat Burger is like, are they making changes, baby? Look at this greatness right here. A burger container with the burger diaper wrapper around it. It's like a supersized White Castle connection, huh? Okay, let's put that there. Let's take the other one out. Honestly, I don't know which is which, but one of these is a turkey, but no, actually, hold up. Oh, oh, fat fries, how I missed you, boo. Fat fries, ah, fat fries, why you so hot, baby? Come here, boo. Fat fries are dumb hot. Mm. No salt on these joints, but that potato, soft, light crisp on the fry itself. Mm-hmm. They're good. They use some salt. Three and a half good. I'm telling you right now, because it's so thick, the little bit of salt yeah, you probably did put on them, if any, got absorbed up real fast. That salt is out of there, baby. They're good, but a little misunderstood. Now I'm gonna review these burgers in the order that I take them out. So. Oh. All right, what is this? Come on out, come on out. They got you double wrapped, huh? You must be serious when they have you double wrapped like this. Oh. Oh, that look that, that must be that uh, Asian sesame sauce right there. Ah, just come on, man. Mm. Yeah, this is the pineapple. Look at that, y'all. Uh, look at the pineapple right there. What are you guys thinking right now? Do you like pineapples on your burger? Because that looks like a nice glaze over some serious beef with melted cheese 
and King's Hawaiian bun toasted for extra sweetness. Is it too much on the burger, y'all? Look at it. Is that too much burger? I don't know. Holla at your boy. Let me know in the comment section below. To be honest with y'all, the pineapple scent is coming through strong. Mm, mixed in with the beef scents, who? This thing smell amazing. You are leaking all over the place. Mm. Mm. King's Hawaiian bread melts right in your mouth. You were getting minimal bun action. And that's the MBA, minimal bun action. Mm. That beef, well seasoned. The pineapple was strong, soft, but strong. The flavor of the pineapple, fruity. Fruity and beefy because the beef seasoned up and it's thick beef is coming through heavy. Mm. Mm. Messy. To be honest, I didn't really know how I was gonna feel about this because pineapple's on the burger. It's almost like having pineapple on your pizza, but it's not bad. Um, I can honestly personally do without the pineapple. Another three and a half in my book definitely not four piece worthy the flavors will take some getting used to it's good decent the beef itself is amazing the cheese yes the bun yes the pineapple maybe so that's what brings us down to a three and a half to keep it funky and i love fat burger i do the pineapple threw me off the asian sesame sauce um it was really drowned out by the pineapple just because the flavor is so strong with pineapple, you know? Definitely some work, some work. It would take me some work to really love this type of burger, but it was good. Today's question is, will I love a turkey burger? I think if I have to go the route of a turkey burger, I'm on to do it at Fat Burger at the end of the day, right? It only makes sense to me. All right, what does the turkey burger consist of? Is that a wheat bun? We got Echo Pickles definitely popping on the handstand, little mayo. Pl actually, plenty of pickles, onion. Mm-hmm. Looking like some relish. I can smell the relish and mustard. Turkey burger itself. Okay. Take another look. This is Fat Burgers Turkey Burger. My first attempt at a turkey burger. There's certain qualities about a fat burger that excite people. The King's Hawaiian bun, because it's soft, it's sweet. The way that they prep their beef, season their beef, add so much love to the beef so it's juicy. They're like, damn, it ain't really juicy, it's greasy, hush. It's good. So when you take a bite out of a fat burger, you're getting pure flavor. The thing about a turkey burger, I came down with a turkey burger at all. Even with the addition of pickles and onions, mustard, I mean, just the chew on it is a very disrespectful chew. Unless you're already accustomed to the turkey burger. Me, I am not. I am not accustomed to it. I just, I'm not qualified to eat a turkey burger, y'all. I'm not qualified to do it. And I can taste the disqualification. That ain't no juicy, juicy beef, it's dry. It needs the mustard and the onion to help pick up its bite, to help pick up its flavor, to help connect it to your palate and make it make sense. And the wheat bread does nothing for the fact that the turkey burger is dry. Does nothing whatsoever. No sweetness, no nothing. I'm sure this is a healthier addition if you want a burger. This is, this is a healthier option. But it's a two for me, family. I can't get down with a turkey burger. All right, guys, so ultimately, the turkey burger was a little dry. The grilled pineapple burger was decent for the most part, enough for a three and a half. Pineapples were a little uh, overbearing. And flavor took away from some of the other flavors. So it just, ah, it wasn't something that truly excited me at the end of the day, but it was still good. Shout out to Fat Burger for always doing your thing thing. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm back like I never left. When I get back home, we're going to get back to the food reviews. Um, as far as the Netflix series, guys, for those of you that watched it already, please let me know your favorite episode in the comment section below. I definitely want to talk about it in upcoming reviews and uh, see where we can go from here. I need for you to give Mom and Pops Where You Live a shout out because I'm trying to build a nice little list. I know a lot of you are like, Dame, how come you didn't come to where I live? Look, we're going to be working on some things, man. But we need communication, baby. We need You got to let me know. Let me know what you thought of this show. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you like about it? What did you hate about it? Like, yo, hit me in the comments, baby. I'm going to holler at you. Keep it crispy. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fresh Fried and Crispy. Fresh Fried Crispy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fresh Fried Crispy. Fresh Fried Crispy. Fresh Fried Crispy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fresh Fried I'm in love. Ah, that BC bite, that meaty bite, that bite of delight. Oh, chicken has to be moist by choice. Look at the things just dripping while the syrup is working. Dripping up off that sunrise right there. Mm -hmm. The juiciness on that chicken, that was a thick chicken. Oh. Sitting on top of that cheese. Oh, fresh fried crispy pie. Ah. This is kind of gives us a little bounce moment. Fried crispy. A little bit of that fresh fried crispy. Getting all the sweetness of the cream, getting that dark chocolate. That's a wrap.